Hi gardeners. Today I get to talk about one of my favorite plants to grow. And I'm not talking about an ordinary vegetable. I'm talking about a herb. This is basil. This is sweet Genovese basil. This is the most common type of basil that you will find in stores, either dried or in fresh sprigs. But there are other types of basil you might want to try. There is a cinnamon basil. Thai basil has the taste of licorice. And of course, lemon basil has a little lemony flavor to it, all of which are wonderful in cooking. But this is the old standby, especially for Italian dishes. Now, the nice thing about basil is if you grow it by seed, it's dirt cheap. The bad thing about basil, if you grow it, or if you buy the plants from the store, as we used to, they can be $2.99 US dollars for a package of already mature plants that are on their downhill side. They'll be long, stringy. This will be a wooden stalk here instead of nice and fresh green. So you'll get a few good harvests, but the plant is already really drawn out and stringy, and we want it to be nicer and bushier. And I'm going to give you a few hints on how to do that. These two plants were grown from seed that was given to me that was already four years old. It was packaged for sale in 2017 and a person had found it and said, I'm not going to grow it. So they gave me the seed and I planted them in a hexagonal formation, six on the outside, one in the middle, in a seven inch pot. So I just wanted to see how many basil I could get out of those seven seeds and I got two basil that managed to be viable. Now, basil will seem to take a long time when you first grow it. And that's because you can get the temperature wrong. While basil likes warm temperatures, you can probably grow it in soil temperatures at 70 degrees or below. Now, an air-conditioned house like this, we keep it at about 73 degrees Fahrenheit. You can convert to Celsius if you wish. But these will grow just fine here as long as they get a little bit of sun. So we put it in a southward facing window. The advantage of this is I just put it on these two trays here, and we have two good basil plants that are going to provide us uh, two or three pickings of basil eh, every two weeks, and that's about as often as we need it. So if you buy the pre-grown basil in a grocery store, expect to pay about $3, and you'll have 10 or 15 very thin plants that look great, until you start harvesting and then you realize they're on their downward side. So how do we make a plant nice and round and fluffy? Well, I'm going to bring the camera over here and we're going to take a look at the growth points and we're going to discuss a little bit about the sowing. All right? Basil likes moisture, but it must be well drained. It doesn't want to be soggy and it doesn't want to stand in water. So I have used a lot of compost on the top of my growing medium to help give it some drainage ability, okay? When the plants come up, they're very small and they're very slow growing. Just have to wait it out. Four to six weeks, you'll start seeing the plants starting to lengthen out. And this is where we get to the interesting part. <laughs> As the basil starts growing primary leaves, you'll see it has shoots or suckers here. See it right there in the right in the crop of the joint right here. This one is just kind of dormant. If we cut the main stalk right here, these won't become dormant and you will get two offshoots instead of one regular stalk. Let me show you where we did it right up here. There we are. I cut that only about a quarter inch above the offshoots. And as you can see, this uh, stem grew almost another inch before it finally closed itself off there. But these two are now the splits. Ah, I see Trooper wants to check them out. Hi, buddy. 
So these two are now the main growers. And as you can see, we've had a split here, but there's no shoots. Up here is where we would cut it again if we wanted to break it off into two more. Do you see the side shooting developing right there in the leaves? So this would be the next point where we could cut it off. Or we could go back to this point. See here, we've got these two side shoots. We could cut it all the way back to here. As you can see, just a little bit of compost on top of potting soil. This is our homegrown compost. So we could cut it back to here and get all of this harvest and then these two would be the predominant ones. Or we can cut it up here and this will be four up here. So we'll have a taller bush up here. Now this one is not the runt of the litter. It's just having a little slower growth. As you can see, we could cut back to here. Here are the two shoots. Here and here. We could cut back to here and harvest everything up here, but we have two shoots going nicely here. And there's another offshoot right up there. Right here. So these will be side shoots as well. Don't pick the really big bottom leaves. They're the engines for the plant right now. Now, a leaf that maybe is getting a little bit tired and old, like this one, could be picked. As you can see, he has a little bit of spotting on him. So we'll just take him off right there. The fragrance is amazing, folks. So two plants, basically for free. The seeds do not cost that much at all. And I guess this is now about a full hand tall, okay? And it's ready to divide again. And as you can see, we have a few very large leaves that we could take if we need them for a big pasta dish. But I would recommend you go back to either the, the lowest point here if you want it more bushy, or cut it back up here to create a canopy effect. We've had these since spring and we've already harvested them three times already. So basil, a plant you need in your garden, easy to grow, it can be grown in pots, inside, we just have it right here on a south facing window. And as you can see, they'll get enough sun to bring these growths up here. Basil, a plant that you really want to have when you're cooking the food that you've grown yourself. All right, everybody? Thanks so much. Bye-bye.